Do girls take longer to recover than boys? And this is where things get interesting. And the overall answer is yes. Women do take longer to recover. In fact, a study done by Roger Zemeck in Canada was one of the largest studies that was done on this. But what they did is they developed a clinical prediction rule for looking at um, uh, the likelihood of somebody to go on to have persistent concussion symptoms. So they would take all these different variables and they studied this over a large sample and they would see what types of things increase the likelihood of somebody having persistent concussion symptoms. And then what they would do with that information is they developed it, they gave each thing a points structure. So if they were a certain age, they would get zero points. If they were a, another age, they would get one point. If they were another age, they would get two points. And then they would look at their balance score and they would give them different points based on how good their balance was. If they scored a certain amount of errors, they would get zero points. If they scored more errors, they would get one point or two points, depending on how much that variable pushed them to have persistent concussion symptoms. Then from that, they would add up all the points. And if you had a total combined score of a certain level uh, or higher, you were considered more likely to have prolonged concussion symptoms. And when they looked at sex and the, the number that they put for sex, if you're a boy in this clinical prediction rule, you get zero points. If you're a girl in this clinical prediction rule, you automatically get two points, which is the highest amount of points that they give for any one category. So you're talking about zero to two. So there's a big difference between boys and girls in terms of recovery. And in a study that was published just this month, and this is the one I did my Instagram post on that got a lot of discussion going, is um, it was called Factors Affecting Recovery Trajectories in Pediatric Female Concussions. And this was uh, by Desai et al. in 2019, and it was in the Clinical Journal of Sports Medicine. So for those watching at a later date, this is September 2019. This study was published. So... The question is, why do women and girls take longer than boys? Actually, sorry, going back, recovery trajectories. So this study, 192 patient charts they looked at, 75 were female, 117 were male. Um, the average post-concussion symptom scale was 30 for females and it was 20 for males. So females are coming in with a higher symptom severity score. Um, this is thought to be a reflection of the severity of injury. Higher symptom severity score, more severe injury. Uh, there's a lot of other question marks around that anyway, but females coming in with a higher symptom severity score than males. Um, the time to return to school was significantly uh, longer in females than males. The time to return to non-contact sport was significantly longer in females versus males. So in females, it was 13 days to return to non-contact sport. In males, it was only seven days. So significant difference there. The median time to physician clearance back to full sport was significantly different. In females, it was 119 days. And in males, it was only 45 days. So a significant difference in how long it takes women to recover, get back to their sport, okay? Why do women take longer than men to recover? So here's some theories. And again, they're very similar to the theories around increased susceptibility. Number one is, again, the reduced head-to-neck ratio. If the head undergoes more acceleration because the neck isn't able to stabilize as well, then that's going to result in a worse injury and a worse injury leads to a longer recovery. The second theory is hormones. And this one actually in terms of recovery has a little bit more evidence than in terms of susceptibility. So in terms of uh, hormone fluctuations for recovery, preliminary studies have found that concussions occurring in the two weeks leading up to menstruation, which is called the luteal phase, have, if injuries happen during that period of time, the two weeks prior to menstruation, that resulted in a significantly longer recovery period versus those that were those that had a concussion two weeks after their menstrual uh, uh, cycle was over. Um, or when it was just beginning, sorry, the two, the first two weeks of the menstrual cycle, um, or women taking birth control also 
had a um, um, a reduced likelihood of increased uh, recovery time. So again, so hormone fluctuations, particularly during during the luteal phase, women may be more susceptible to injury and some preliminary evidence shows that it takes longer to recover if you get a concussion during that time. So that might be one reason why women are taking longer is these hormone fluctuations um, due to the menstrual cycle. Third, again, maybe women are more honest. So maybe they're more likely to report that they're still having symptoms. Symptoms are still present and um, you know they're they're reporting it. Maybe men are not and that way they're getting through the, the, uh, the protocols sooner and they're getting back to sport sooner. Another one that came from this particular study, which I find really, really interesting and I think needs to be replicated in more studies until we can know for certain, but maybe women are taking longer to present to sports medicine clinics. And I'm just going to throw out kind of a, a, a little bit of background on this particular item, but it's known that the, the quicker you get in to see somebody who has specialized knowledge and training in concussion. I'm not talking about just going to any old healthcare professional because it shows that it's really the specialization and people being able to give you accurate information. The world of concussion is changing so rapidly that if you have a healthcare professional who's not specialized in concussion and not keeping up with the rapid evolution of how things are going, they're not going to be as well versed to be able to provide you with education and the proper guidance to help you recover faster. Whereas somebody who's paying attention to that and kind of specializing in that area and sees a lot of concussion patients is going to be able to provide you with accurate information that's going to be able to help you in your recovery period. So this particular study, getting back to this Clinical Journal of Sports Medicine study by Desai et al, looking at these differences, all the differences are there. Women take longer to recover, get back to school, take longer to get back to sport, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. The interesting thing though is 46 males and 22 females presented for their specialized evaluation within seven days of the injury. So they came in at day seven. When they looked at just this group that came in early, they found that all the differences between the sexes completely disappeared. Women no longer took longer to recover than men. They no longer took longer to get back to school. They no longer took longer to get back to sport. And it was all based on, so if you were to control the time from injury to coming to a specialized clinic, all the differences disappeared. Because in this study, what they found was the median days from injury to presentation in females was 15 days. The median number of days from male, for males from injury to coming into the clinic was only nine days, which was significantly different. So when you controlled for that and you said, let's only look at the people that came in right away within the first seven days, they found that there was absolutely no differences between the sexes. So that's what's interesting. So the question is why, I mean, the, the answer here is maybe women actually don't have increased recovery times if we're able to get them into the clinic just as soon. But why are women taking longer to get to the clinic? That's, that's an interesting question. So it's been proposed on my Instagram. There was a lot of different posts on the, uh, on my on my Instagram, uh, post a lot of comments. And if you look through some of those, there's some really interesting theories behind why that might be, um, potentially coming down to funding. Maybe women's sports have left less funding. Maybe they're less likely to have medical personnel on the sidelines to be able to recognize the concussion and refer them in. Uh, some people were suggesting that maybe women are, uh, maybe they don't realize that they have a concussion based on, um, you know, the symptoms and stuff, and maybe they don't see them as being as severe or significant. Um, there's a whole bunch of different reasons but I think that this is something that needs to be examined is if if women aren't getting into the clinic fast enough and that's maybe the reason why they're taking longer to recover then we've been going down the wrong path and looking at all these different reasons and hormone fluctuations and everything else when really it's it potentially is just due to um, not being able to have the same access to clinical management.